Hello, my name is Domino Bates, and I am schooling in Wolsey Hall School in the UK. So, I am homeschooled in the Philippines, where my mom teaches me. And today, we are learning about we are learning about electricity and electrical circuits for science. Hooray! More science. First, what is electricity? So, electricity is the flow of, of charged particles, if you can read it here. So, it gives energy so that household appliances will work. So, today is about electricity and electrical circuits. You excited guys with iron? So you better watch until the end of the video because I am going to do something really, really cool. So, can you think of anything that uses electricity? Because I can think of many different things. So I can think of phones, like your mom's phones, because I'm too young for a phone right now. Phones, iPads, tablets, clocks, electric cars, or electric toys. And you know what else uses? It's TVs and laptops and computers. There's a lot of things. So, we're gonna talk about electricity first, then about electrical circuits. So, where do we get electricity from? We get electricity from mains or batteries. So, what is a main? If you don't know what it is, it's a socket that you plug this in, like a long wire that plugs in stuff. For example, a toothbrush charger. <laughs> so, when you plug it in, you can plug in wires for a telly, or you can plug in chargers for your iPads or phones or anything that needs a charger or wires. So, what is a battery? A battery is a source of energy for electricity. Like uh, this. This is a battery that I drew. So, now, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about things that you should never ever do and what, you, and what you should always do with electricity. So, the first because. thing... Because electricity could kill you. So, the first three things that you should never ever do with electrical things. The first thing you should do is put your fingers in mains. Like the sockets that I just told you about. The second thing you should do is never touch electrical things with wet hands. So after you wash your hands, you should always dry them properly. And the last thing you should never do is use them the next water. Because if you do, it could drop into the water. Then when you try and get it back, you're going to get electrocuted or die. And then the thing that you should always do is always... What was it again? The thing that you always do is always touch the plastic part of chargers. Because if you touch metal parts, that could give you an electrical shot if it was charged. Okay. So, right now, before we talk about circuits, we're going to talk about insulators and conductors. So, what is a conductor? A conductor is something that lets electricity flow through it, mostly metals. And the most common thing in wires that lets electricity flow, the most common metal is copper. So, what is an insulator? An insulator is something that doesn't let electricity flow, like plastic on here. A rubber, yeah? A rubber, uh, like felt, or you can get... Uh, what else? Foam or dirt or wood. So, you wonder why do they put plastic over the metal parts of wires? Well, the reason they do that is so that you don't get electrocuted when you touch the wire. 
because plastic is an insulator which doesn't let electricity flow, but inside is a metal where it does let electricity flow so it's still able to work. I'm going to show you an example. An example like this. This is the plastic around this wire here, which is this is a metal where it lets electricity flow through it all the way up. Alright, the next thing we're going to talk about is about, you guessed it, electrical circuits. Okay, so here comes the most exciting part of the video. This is, it. This is why I told you to watch until the end of the video. The most exciting thing we're going to do today is we're going to make an electrical circuit and a complete one as well. So, a couple of days ago... Um, me, my mom, and my dad went to I went to Festival Mall and got and went to Toys R Us and got this for my science. So that is the most exciting part ever to do. So the first thing, but before that, we're gonna talk about electrical circuits. So the thing you need to know is that electricity can only flow when there's a complete circuit. For example, there needs to be a source, like a battery, to let the electricity flow, then wires connecting to a light bulb, and the light bulb will shine up. But if you remove one of the wires, it won't shine up anymore. So I'm going to show you a simple, um, a simple circuit. So I have my chart here, where, here, so you can see this, right? This is a com this is a complete circuit and it's called a series circuit because it's a simple see and we're going to be talking about that here as you can see there's two types series and parallel so this is a series circuit these have symbols on it so this these are two light bulbs and this is one battery connecting to both the light bulbs and this is an incomplete circuit. As you can see, there is a missing piece. And then this is a parallel. Um, this is a parallel circuit. So this is like, so this is one light bulb here where the wires are connecting to it. And then this is another. So it's like parallel. And how do you know that, how do you know what parallel looks like? Well, how do you know is the two L's here in the parallel word that do this, and this is called a parallel, and this is called a parallel line. So, I have another thing that kind of replicates the parallel and the series conductor, I mean, circuits. So, okay, so I am back, and now we're going to make the electrical circuit. I was so excited to do this. So this is my board here. So this is my battery here. And this is the source of electricity in my circuit. And that's and it's gonna be powered with a switch to turn on. And then we have these to connect the wires. Hooray. Okay, so let's start I guess. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to take the switch and then we're going to want to put it like this. Just a little bit in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this wire here, this battery with the wires, and we're going to stick it in, just going to make sure it's in properly. Then the thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these, the connectors, and we're gonna put it here. So this is for the reds. Well, one of the reds. So some of the reds, two of the reds, yeah. And then we're gonna, so how you do this is you're gonna put this gently up, and you're gonna stick the wire in. And you're gonna gently put it down so that the wire is secure. Then I'm gonna do the same with this wire. So I'm gonna do it on the other side. Same thing. That's in. That's in. 
Okay, now we're going to take these two connectors. So one of them is for the blue, which is this one. And this one is for the reds on the other side. So we're going to take this red and put it here. And then we're going to take this blue and put it through here. Slide that in. Then we can either choose either of these. Which one do you choose? Because I think I'm going to choose this first. And then we're going to do a little experiment with you it. We can do both, yeah? Yeah, we can do both. But first we're going to do this. See what happens. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the wires. Okay, okay, now I know. Put that in, push that in. And then we're gonna take the wires underneath and we're gonna st stretch this out because it's bendy so it's able to stretch out. And we're gonna push it through here or here, anywhere. Just at least one pull away. And we're gonna push it through. So that the wires come up and pull, 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 and then put it down so the wires won't escape. Then, as you know, this one is the red, so it goes here, and this is the blue, so it goes. What the heck? I turned it on accidentally. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so. This is my complete circuit. As you can see, I just added the ball in for now. So, why is it a complete circuit? Hmm? So, this is my battery, the source of energy, which has the positive and the negative. And if you're wondering, the blue is the negative and the red is the positive. Then the wires, the positive wire first, connects to here, the wire connector, then it goes around to the switch, which turns it on and off. Then it connects around here, going around to here, going up to this, which will make it work. So that is around. For the first, it's the positive wire. Now it's the negative wire. So it goes around, connects to here, then goes around and connects to here. So they are both connected to this thing that we are going to go and turn it on. So here we go, guys. Okay, we're gonna take the ball, turn it on. You're gonna hear the fan, can't you? Woo, look at that. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. And off. Now. now, I'm gonna show you what happens when I take out one of the wires. So, for example, if I took out the battery wire, the negative one, if I took that out, what would happen? It doesn't work, see? So that's what happens when it's incomplete. So I'm gonna connect this again. And now we're gonna see what happens with two of them. Huh? <laughs> you excited guys? Cause I am. Now we actually tested this first, so it works. We know that it works, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can go here. Where? There, yeah, okay. And then it turned the wire connect here. Because it's one. Gotta oh, oh. lift this up. Then you gotta pull, pull, pull. Gotta pull all the way, gotta pull all the way. And then lift it. So as you can see, there's a circle there that connects it. 
this is an LED alarm light. And now we can actually use this for an alarm clock if it actually works. So <laughs> then we're gonna put this through. Okay, guys. Now remember, negative goes to the blue. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Looks like while I was lifting it, this came out. And then this connects to here. Okay, guys, you ready? So as you can see, this doesn't have much power as before. And I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you why this didn't have much power as before. The thing is that when it was alone, it took all the power. But when it's with, but when it's two, each of them takes equally half of the power. So it's a bit weaker. And then when it's only one, it's more brighter or more, well, Powerful. We're gonna try an incomplete circuit with both of these. So, this is still a complete circuit, but just with this. And you know why, remember? You remember why? <laughs> All the way around, you still remember that, right? <laughs> so, what we're gonna try is we're gonna try and remove one of the wires from here, which is the positive one. <laughs> so, we're gonna remove, remove, remove. Did it work? I don't think try. so, but let's try. As you can see, no, it does not. Because both wires need to be connected to make it work. Okay. Off. There. So, that is about science today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. What's our channel? My channel is Domino's Learning Republic. Goodbye! So, where can you buy this kit? So, if you want to do this, you can buy this in Festival Mall Toys R Us. It's Discovery. It's Discovery. Um, it's called the Action Security Floating Ball Experiment Set. So, if you're looking, it's from Toys R Us. It says on the label here. So, we were just wondering if you wanted it. And I also got this, which has a buzzer, also for science. It's the buzz wire making kit. And if you also want this, you can also get it in Toys R Us in Festival Mall. We bought these both in the same place. So, 